Some families dream vacation to the Bahamas nearly turned deadly. What they did not know about the fish there that almost killed them. Our Edward Lawrence is taking action for you, highlighting what the family learned that you need to know if you vacation in the Caribbean. Austin Gonsalves loves to fish, so it was no surprise he jumped at the opportunity for a dream vacation spearfishing in the Bahamas. The memories captured on camera of Austin and his friend Marlon Ellis, along with Austin's mom and her boyfriend. The group not yet knowing the fish they were hunting would nearly kill them. I remember eating the fish. I remember diving the day we ate the fish. And then I remember waking up in Miami a week later. It was then they learned a fish they caught was loaded with poison, putting the 15-year-old in a coma. It was a uh, mutton snapper. When he and the others on the trip ate the fish, they ingested the poison. It's called cigaterra poisoning. You have a 1 in 50 chance to get it if you eat large fish in that region. That's why biologists recommend avoiding large fish for dinner. Uh, no smell, no taste, no way to tell that the fish is has the... Poison. The only reason they can talk about their warning is because of his mother's natural reaction after the four started violently vomiting. I remember calling the ambulance and that's the last thing I remember for several days. Doctors in the Bahamas never diagnosed the poison. Gonsalves' daughter got them medevac to Miami where doctors recognized the symptoms. Just a little, just a little weak, just, you know, normal stuff like walking, taking a shower, just makes me tired. He started physical therapy this week and has a sense of humor about the near-death poisoning. His friends brought Austin this movie to help the recovery. In Bradenton, Edward Lawrence, ABC Action News. Meanwhile, all four are still recovering. The medical emergency has already cost more than $35,000, and it's money they simply don't have. We've learned a benefit will be held in Bradenton on August 2nd for people wanting to help. We posted all that information on our website at abcactionnews.com.